Hello boys and girls, welcome back. I am so happy to be spending time again with you today. What a beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day for you today and I hope that you get to breathe in some fresh air. I just wanted to talk to you about something really special today. So we are going to learn about the big idea today. We are going to learn a new verse and we're gonna do some music and a craft. So get ready because we're gonna have so much fun. I'm going to start this off with what the big idea for the month of May is. Can you believe it? We're already in the month of May. That is just, oh, time just goes by so quickly. So the big idea for this month is the Holy Spirit helps us. Can you see that? The Holy Spirit helps us. So before we get started with our Bible story, we are going to get up and we're going to do our song. So everybody get up wherever you are and get ready to participate in moving either back and forth or dancing, but we're gonna have such a wonderful time doing this song. So this song is called Jesus Loves Me and I'm sure you all know this song. So I'm so excited to be dancing with you or swaying back and forth with you. Jesus loves me, this I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He is strong Jesus loves me, this I know Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He is strong Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me The Bible tells me so This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me and he loves you and he loves everybody. I love that song and I hope you did too. So now we're going to move on to a verse for the month and our verse is, it comes from John 14, 16 and it says, the Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. From John 14, 16. So we're going to roll the dice and whatever number it lands on, we are going to repeat it that many times. Oh, and it landed on three. So we're gonna say it three times. And you're going to join me. The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. John 14, 16. The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. John 14, 16. The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. John 14, 16. <gasps> Yay! That was three times. 
This is a very good verse to memorize because it is so good to know that the Holy Spirit comes from God and the reason why the Holy Spirit is with us so it can help us. Isn't that amazing? I know it's amazing for me to think about how much Jesus loves me and he loves me so much that he also lets me have the Holy Spirit inside me to help me. All right, our Bible story is a very short one today, but nonetheless, it's very important because it talks about the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is a helper, and we learn that from Acts 2, 1 to 4. And Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper. Do you see that flame right there? That helper is the Holy Spirit. So that means that Jesus loves us so much that he gave us a helper. And that helper can help us figure out decisions or help us decide whether something is good or bad. That is just so wonderful to just have an extra helper with us. All right, boys and girls, so now we have moved to our craft time. And what you will need for this craft is pieces of paper like this, um, scissors, but remember to have your parents help you with this if you're not old enough, some markers, and tape or a stapler because we are going to make a fire flame headband. So the fire flame will represent the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is within us. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to make a fire flame like this. So I'm gonna color mine in just like this. I love coloring. Coloring has been one of my favorite things to do these days. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with So I'm using yellow and orange, but you can use different colors for your flame. And once I have colored this all, we're going to cut around. All right, so now I'm cutting out my flame that I colored the way I want to, wanted to. Just like that. And again, if you need help from your parents, this is okay. All right, so once you cut out your flame, you are going to then cut out um, strips so that you can fit this around your head. So I'm just doing that right now. And then I'm taping um, the edges and where they link together, the paper, so it fits nicely on my head. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna start wearing this. Does it fit? It fits! I love it! Do you like it? Well, if you made this today, can you let your parents know to take a picture and to send it to Miss Stephanie? Because I would love to see what yours looks like. Oh, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I love learning about the Holy Spirit and how much Jesus loves us, that he sent another helper to be with us. So I just want to spend some time with you and ending this video by praying for all of you. So I'm going to pray right now. And you all know how I love to pray. I love to close my eyes and fold my hands. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your beautiful, beautiful love for all of us. Thank you because you sent the Holy Spirit and that Holy Spirit is another helper for all of us to make good decisions. Thank you because you have kept us safe. Thank you for the food. Thank you for our beds and our homes. And thank you for our mummies and daddies and our brothers and sisters. I just pray that you continue to be with us and that we will go to school very, very soon. Thank you so much for all the blessings you have given us. In Jesus' name, amen. So, 
Do you see the candle here? I'm going to blow out the candle. And do you see that smoke at the very end? That's like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. And Jesus is everywhere. So boys and girls, I just want to say how much I love you and miss you. And I cannot wait to see all of you. Bye for now.